day 161 here, and I need to talk to you seriously. I know, it's going to be kind of hard to take this seriously when it's completely painted and looks like a frown. But, I have a sad face on for a reason, okay? Um, if you noticed in day 160 and 161, I had a whole thing on A Amusement performers who have been stealing photos from other artists and um, claiming them as their own. So I went on a rampage to, you know, shut them down and stuff, which really wasn't any of my business to do. And it was brought to my attention yesterday about another person that did this too, okay? But it's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. I'll tell you the reason why. On his website, he's posting photos of other people's work. I don't know if he's claiming them as his own or not. That's for you to decide. But I'll have all the information down below. But I had a long discussion with uh, a gentleman who is the best at what he does. Um, one of the front runners in the face and body art community. He is well known and he told me to just shut up and paint. Thanks, Nick. This is what happens. This right here and right here. You tell me to shut up and paint, and this is what happens. I mean, ah! Okay, so on to more serious things. Um, I lost my cool because of A performers, A, inter a amusement performers, okay? Instead of doing what I should have done, which everybody should do before they even uh, make a complaint or any kind of comment, is you need to research everything altogether. This gentleman came to Fabiac this year. He competed in the face and body art, uh, the body painting competition part. He um, didn't place, but his work was really good, and I kind of feel bad for the email that I sent him, which I used... Um, threats with lawsuits if he didn't remove the photos. So I actually got onto his Facebook page and I apologized pretty much. Um, let him know I wasn't going to sue him, you know, but in the best interest of everybody if they would just, you know, um, take off the photos so that it doesn't cause any problems because of what happened with A Amusement Entertainment. So everybody, just, just stop, okay, because Nick Wolf actually told me this in uh, the whole long conversation we had. It really doesn't matter about the face painting. You know how good you are. You know it's your work. If somebody wants to take your work and pawn it off as their own, they're going to have to show people that they can actually do it. It's just really going to make it hard for them, not for you. Okay? So don't worry if somebody's stealing your photos and stuff unless they are actually selling them and making money off of your photos. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. And I agree with him totally. So for this point forward, I am not going to interfere in anything like this again. If I find photos on another person's site that they are claiming as their own, I will inform the actual owner of the photo and let them, you know, deal with it. I'm not going to deal with it anymore. It's not my responsibility. Okay? I am sticking my nose in places where I shouldn't. So, you know, just stop. So, Nick, when he told me to shut up and paint, that is the best advice that can be given to anybody. Okay? If you're at a festival and you're working in a line and, you know, you start talking about something you really shouldn't be talking about, Shut up and paint. Okay? If you have a complaint and you start to post it online, shut up and paint. You know? If you get into an argument with your spouse or your loved one, shut up and paint. Um, if you don't like what I'm saying here, tell me to shut up and paint. And then maybe I'll do something like this again. You know, the whole thing. Maybe I'll do the other arm next time. 
Well, it looks good because I'm right-handed, so, you know, whatever. But, <laughs> but uh, no, um, seriously, guys, uh, don't let it bug you too much. Don't let it get to you. Um, it's not that big of a deal. In fact, uh, Nick Wolf even said that um, if somebody doesn't steal his photos, he feels a little jealous. For the simple fact is, is his not work good enough for them to steal? You should feel flattered if your photo is stolen. Hey, you're doing such great work. Somebody wants to steal your work and claim it as their own. So, get over it. Shut up and paint. And, um... I guess that's what the title of this is going to be. Um, uh, there are several things you can do in case somebody does steal your photos and post them on their Facebook or their website. Contact them personally. Um, ask them to remove the photos. If they don't remove them after asking, uh, then it's up to you to decide what you're going to do. You know, uh, take it in a legal fashion or whatever, but, you know... Um, in the face painting community, you're not going to be able to sue anybody for anything. <laughs> it's just pointless. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Unless you're a company and, you know, you are stealing um, company ideas and stuff and, you know, their work and pawning it off as your own, then I guess that would be a legality. But other than that, it's not. And, um, you know, just... Shut up and paint. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just trying to get this off my chest and letting you guys know I'm no longer going to interfere in any of these situations ever again. So if you have a problem with somebody, you can ask me for advice. I'll be happy enough to give it to you, but at no time will I actually be interfering in this kind of matter again. So um, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you want to see something different than this, a more happy face, let me know. I'll be glad to do one for you. And um, if I don't get another video up, I'll see you next Wednesday. And you guys have fun and happy painting, all right? So keep that in mind. Oh, Shut one up, more okay. thing. Um, Nick did share with me a great article that's going to be in uh, the 14th issue of Illusions Magazine. Um, it's really, it, it was a really, really great article that he wrote. Um, I cannot share it with you. So, uh, you're just going to have to wait three months and pick up issue number 14. Issue number 13 of Illusions Magazine is being sent out now. Okay? So, Brian Wolf has, uh, a great article in there too, from what I heard from Nick. And, um... I'm definitely going to have to pick up that issue of Illusions Magazine so I can read it myself. So um, definitely uh, go down, link below, go to uh, Illusions Magazine's website and uh, you know subscribe to them. Go ahead and uh, get that issue, number 13, with Brian's in there. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you get issue number 14 in about three months. And you'll be able to see the article that uh, Nick shared with me. And... Uh, be sure to read carefully because this does pertain to everybody and it is very enlightening and you'll understand um, what I was talking about before and how much it's just really negative and we need to keep a positive attitude. So, thanks again guys. Catch you later. Shut up and paint!